Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. Well, hello and welcome to Bowtie Life, where we talk mostly about gardening and sometimes life. And here's some life. Uh, first off, uh, some of you who watch me probably don't know that I'm a bit of a nerd. I, I like science-y stuff. I always have. I really did well in science in school. I'm just very fascinated by things that are happening uh, in the world around, whether it's biology or physics or uh, just electronics or whatever. In fact, years I was a, a computer uh, programmer and I was fascinated by that. And I'm fascinated by a lot of things. I have a feeling it has to do with my ADD brain, which is always looking for something new, something informational. A lot of people like that out there. And, and I really view it as a gift, not a curse. Uh, ADD is a wonderful thing. And I uh, bless all those of you who are gifted with it from God. It's uh, something that's hard to learn to live with. But anyway, that's kind of where I'm coming from. Uh, this video, though, is... Uh, about these lights right here that you see above me. Now, if you haven't seen the other parts of this series, go back to the playlist that's linked up here above my shoulder somewhere. Uh, this way. <laughs> it's over here. And uh, um, it's the playlist. The entire playlist talks about uh, lights and the type of lights that we have. Now, before I go any further, uh, oh, nope, that's for this next section. Okay, so what I want to talk about is these four lights right here. And you'll notice... Uh, this light looks yellower, this looks, light looks bluer, this one's a little blue right here, and this one kind of looks almost white. Well, that's because of the white balance. If you want to find out more about white balance, watch the video immediately before this one in the series and kind of clears that up. Hopefully, if you don't, if, if it doesn't, please ask questions in the comments uh, in, on that video. But we're talking about these lights right here, and we have a light that is about the same as a incandescent light. That's the old fashioned lights with the filament in it that, uh, oh, what's his name invented a century and a half ago or whenever it was, uh, Edison, that was his name. And now these other lights are a little bit different temperature. Now these temperatures are measured in Kelvin, K-E-L-V-I-N. And Kelvin is not a friend of Hobbes, if case not Kelvin and Hoff, no. Anyway, Kelvin is a temperature is a measure of the temperature of light. Now we're not talking about heat, like in other words, touch it, it's gonna burn you. No, we're not talking about that kind of temperature. We're talking about how these lights look a little bit different. Now it's very, I think it's very interesting because these lights mean different things to different people. First off, this light right here, this is the color that we are used to. Now, we are white balanced on the 4000 Kelvin right here. In fact, I'm going to show, throw up some labels here that I'm going to leave a while uh, that shows exactly which one of these is tuned to what. So this one up here is 2700 Kelvin. Uh, I don't have a 3000 Kelvin, but you'll notice a lot of lights come at 3000 Kelvin. They're trying to approximate the old incandescent lights. This one here is 4000 Kelvin. This one here is 5000 Kelvin. Now, very common, you see the 5000 Kelvin and you'll see the 3000 Kelvin, which is close to this. That's what you see a lot of times in big box stores, hardware stores. Uh, and this one up here is 6000 Kelvin. This one up here in the corner. Now, okay. A lot of terminology thrown at you. Don't get overwhelmed by the, the terminology. Just notice the number increases, 2,700, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. I could have left this at 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, but I wanted to show an actual incandescent temperature bulb up here for a reason because I want to talk about how our eyes see these. Now, our eyes... are are run by a fantastic computer. Look at the last video uh, about God's computer that he put in our brain. But we're so used that we have seen this light up here for a very long time since Edison invented it. It's kind of a yellowish light. We're very used to it. And a lot of people tend to go towards that. We very seldom see these uh, 6,000 Kelvin lights unless we're out in a big, huge parking lot. They'll, they'll use these because it really lights up. Everybody can see it. However, you'll notice there is a bit of blue in this light up here. Interestingly enough, some people have a sensitivity to blue light. Now, 
Many of you who do probably know it. When you go outside, you have to wear sunglasses or you get terrible headaches. Some of you may not even realize how much of a sensitivity to blue light you have uh, unless you start noticing and paying attention and it's like, you know, I do always get a very slight headache, just very slight when I go outside without my sunglasses. And you've probably learned years ago to wear sunglasses when you go outside. A lot of us have, I do. So that's this uh, blue light up here. It can be challenging for some people. Now, that t makes people tend to go to the other extreme up here to say a 3000 Kelvin light. And very common people go, go with that. However, <laughs> We've got blue light sensitivity. On the other end of the spectrum, we have people that are getting older. Now, what happens is our lights, our, le our eyes, <laughs> the eyes are the light of the soul. No, okay. So our eyes, as we grow older, are less and less capable of seeing the yellow light. Now, this is very common. In fact, I did, was doing some research, uh, doing the sanctuary at our church building and redesigning the lighting, and it had a lot of this very lighting in it because the guy who put it in, that's what he's used to. He go into his home, that's what he has a lot of. But the problem is, because we live in Florida, there's a lot of retired people, we have a little bit higher population of older people. And so when I designed the lighting, I actually went to this, whoops, this lighting right here, the 4,000 Kelvin, because the older you get, the less yellow you can see. I didn't change the brightness at all. I just changed the temperature and suddenly everybody could see better. Now, these colors are not very different. You can barely tell on the camera how different they are. If you really look at them, you can tell, but it's, it's not obvious. But that very subtle difference, that amazing brain that God put in, in your head, this computer, it registers things on a subconscious level and helps you see things better in a way that you may have never seen before. Now, so we say, well, why don't we all just go to this kind of light? Well, some people need a little more of a whiter light. So we go to the 5,000 Kelvin. And a lot of people use 5,000 Kelvin. However, these two lights, I'm going to go on these two extremes right here because these two lights are the common ones you run into when you're out there uh, looking at the world, you're in your house, you probably have mostly these two. And so what happens is there is a place for a higher Kelvin light and a lower Kelvin light. And so like the lower Kelvin light is actually more relaxing to the human brain, to most human brains, okay? Don't, don't, let's not uh, be blanket, make blanket statements here because that's not exactly true. The yellower light is more relaxing. So a lot of times we'll put uh, 2,700 or 3,000 Kelvin in areas of the house which people wish to relax. Definitely the bedroom, okay? Uh, the bathroom, maybe, uh, depending on what kind of things you do in the bathroom. Now, okay, we're not going to get weird. Some people might go to the bathroom to relax and take a bath and wind down. Some people go to the bathroom to do their makeup. That's a little bit more of a functional thing. It's not a relaxing thing. You're d sitting there doing functional things. So when it comes to functional stuff, like being in an office or reading a book, this 5,000 Kelvin light can serve a lot of people better. Now, the, this 5,000 Kelvin light, I don't know if you can really tell how well you can tell, but there is a little blue. Remember the blue light sensitivity that people have? Well, because of that, I will actually tend to go over here because I actually have a little bit, just a minor bit of blue light sensitivity. And so I always wear sunglasses when I go out, or almost always. If I don't wear sunglasses, I'm wearing those safety glasses that actually block some of the UV light. Uh, that's why I wear those in so many of my outdoor videos. But when I'm indoors, this light here is kind of the average in my whole house. I have this in my laundry room. I have this in the kitchen. We actually have it in this living room most of the time because this is a functional space for us. Now, when we're relaxing in the evening, there's a setting that I can tell Google and it will adjust all the lighting down to a more relaxing tone. And it's, it, it's a much easier. Now, Mrs. Bowtie, she doesn't 
really feel it that much because she, I don't know, my brain is broken, so I know it, OCD, ADD, and all those other problems, so I learned a little bit of it. Anyway, that's just a little bit of explanation. I, I would encourage you to look at this and look around your house and see what you have in there. If you've got a lot of 6,000 Kelvin uh, lighting in your house and you don't find it pleasant, you need to get rid of the 6,000 uh, Kelvin. You change it to, you could change it to 5,000 Kelvin. If you don't have a blue light sensitivity, you might find this, and I know people that find this 5,000 Kelvin light perfect for everything. For me, it's 4,000 Kelvin because of that ever so slight, and I mean slight. I don't have to wear glasses. I can function just fine outside without sunglasses, but uh, it does help just a little bit. It makes me feel a little bit more easy. In fact, right now, in talking to this video, I can actually feel this light shining down on me and it's giving me a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, it's just like discomfort right here. Over here, I'm feeling a little more comfort. I can actually feel it in the sides of my brain. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Anyway, so that's a little bit about Calvin. We're gonna get into um, how this works with grow lights. Okay, we're gonna talk about how, what all this means. So that, that's a little bit about what it means to the human brain. Let's, in the next video, talk about grow lights. Now, I'm gonna say this again in the next video. We're not talking about those lights that are actually grow lights. Those are huge, broad spectrum lights that do spe specific things. And I'll touch that briefly in the next video. But here we are, we're talking about using just regular lights as grow lights. In other words, not spending $500 or whatever, and I know they're not five, they range from anywhere from 50 all the way up to thousands of dollars, and I've talked about that in another video. But um, we, we, we're we gonna talk about if you don't, you just, maybe you can't spend so much money on lighting. Maybe you wanna use something that you've got sitting around your house, and we're gonna talk about that in the next video, and how to set up some lights, and how to pick some lights for your grow station. Yeah, here we go, finally. What's this? 10th part of the series and we're finally mentioning gardening, yeah. Okay, so now we're getting around to my favorite thing. So anyway, if you found this informational, educational, or informational, educational, or what's the other word? I lost it, okay, my ADD brain. Entertaining. <laughs> if you found this informational, educational, or entertaining, please subscribe. Please click the thumbs up and please share on your social media. We are trying to grow this channel. This is actually my own personal log of things that are happening in life and in the garden, mostly in the garden. Um, but uh, if you, if, I appreciate you watching along. If you've already subscribed, all these things help grow the channel and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Be sure if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, go to the playlist and to kind of go in order uh, as far as the topics and kind of develop the whole concepts that we're talking about here. We're, next video, we're going to talk about using these kind of lights as grow lights and as far as Kelvin is concerned, and we've talked a lot about Kelvin. And then the next video after that, we're going to talk about brightness and lumens. If you've ever wondered about lumens, that's the video to watch because I'm going to explain the lumens side of things. Okay, we're coming down to the end, and at the end of every video, I only have one thing left to say. Have a blessed day.